It was Halloween on the island of Sodor. The angels were enjoying picking up passengers dressed as monsters, witches and wizards. Thomas and Emily were going on a night run that evening. They were collecting iron trucks for Mary and Bert at the smelter's yard, which had to be delivered to the harbour before sunrise. Percy thought Halloween was scary, so he was glad that he had not been chosen for the job. Thomas and Emily raced across the island, daylight travelling at night, passing owls and foxes as they went. Tweet to woo! Peep, peep! It seems quieter than ever thought, Thomas said to Emily. It was very dark too, Emily said a little timidly. By the time they reached the smelter's yard, Emily felt a little nervous. She looked for Harry and Bert but couldn't see them anywhere. She thought they must be in the smelter's shed, so she made her way towards it with Thomas following behind. There's no need to worry, Thomas said as he and Emily moved through the dark yard, but then they heard a huge crash. What was that? Emily shouted fearfully. The wind must have knocked something over, Thomas replied, but he didn't believe that was true. His piston rattled as he trembled. He didn't feel so brave anymore. Hiding in the shadows, Harry and Bert smiled. Bert pushed an oil drum, causing it to crash to the ground. Thomas and Emily jumped as they heard it, and as they passed the hiding diesels, Harry and Bert moaned and groaned like scary ghosts. Cinders and ashes, Thomas said in surprise. That this place is haunted, cried Emily, as she rushed towards the shed. She wanted to fetch the trucks and leave this scary place as soon as possible. In the shed, Emily saw the trucks they had come to collect. She moved towards them without noticing a white sheet hanging from the ceiling about her. As she passed underneath, it caught on her fender and suddenly fell on her. Arr! she cried. A ghost has got me. She raced through the, she raced through the door, trying to get away from it. When Thomas saw what looked like a ghost engine coming towards him, he forgot about the iron trucks and ran away. Emily, covered by the street, raced after him. Harry and Bert were waiting outside. They were looking forward to laughing at Thomas and Emily for being such scaredy engines. But when they saw Thomas being chased by a ghost engine, they were scared too. Oh no, there really is a ghost, cried Harry. Let's get out of here, shouted Bert, and they turned and fled. Harry, Bert and Thomas raced across the island, followed by the ghost engine. As they neared Tibner's shed, Thomas frantically whistled to wake the other engine. Yawning loudly, Percy said, whatever is the matter, Thomas? There's a ghost engine after us, cried Thomas. Look, here it comes. Everyone gasped when they saw it approaching. They couldn't believe their eyes. But as the, but as the ghost went under a signal, the corner of the sheet caught on it. And as Emily rushed forward, the sheet fell to the ground behind her. It looks like Emily is your ghost giggled Percy as the other rangers all laughed. Harry, Bert and Thomas felt very foolish. Emily was just relieved that there was no ghost. After all, the fat controller came to the shed to find out what was happening. Thomas told him about the spooky noises that had made him and Emily think the smelter's yard was haunted. So when the sheet fell on me, 
I thought it really was a ghost, Emily said with a smile. Do you know anything about this? The flight controller asked Arian Burt, who meekly nodded. In that case, he said, you would deliver the trucks to the harbour tonight. And while you're doing that, you can think about all the trouble your trick has caused. Harry and Bird apologised to the back controller and set off to the smelter's yard to fetch the trucks. As they disappeared into the distance, the steam engines heard them arguing about whose idea it had been. Now we've established that there was no, there are no ghosts. We can all go back to sleep, the back controller said to the other engines. The engines were relieved that there were no ghosts, but they all agreed it would be a long time before they forgot the sight of Emily, the ghost engine.